Hi guys, it's your girl Lola Matams, also known as Gelo Wapazet. Umwanakashi Zambia. I'm just a girl from Zambia. YouTube. YouTube. Space London. Dreams come true, guys. Never, ever, ever, ever give up. No matter what. I'm here chilling with all the big YouTubers. I'm probably the youngest, the smallest YouTuber. But this is me here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Proverbs chapter number 4 verse 18. That part of the Bible was written for me. If you check your Bible very well, you're going to see Pastor Biondo there. The Bible says, but the path of the just is like a shining light. Every living, breathing being in my house can recite the scripture. The path of the just is like a shining light that shines ever brighter. To the perfect day. I was pastoring the city of Ilori many years ago. And, you know, I've told you stories of how uh, I preached one trousers and all the things that we went through, the process we went through. But I want to say to you that I come from a very, um, a, a fairly wealthy family. Uh, my parents uh, were average. If I, don't, I don't want to overshoot it. They were average. I mean, I didn't need to suffer anything but everything I went through was my choice take for example I did my wedding with $200 not because we didn't have money but I knew because of the environment I passed up that once I got married everybody helping us say, oh he has money that's why, that's why he got married I expected it because the Lord had warned me so immediately we came from our wedding, the individual that helped us with the hall and people that helped us with stuff, they just turned and said, no, 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 you need to be paying this, you need to be paying that. So all the money I was given and all the money we had was what we gave to Koza to move to their own facility. I mean, when I say facility, we rented a place for 32,000 naira. And uh, we fixed the chair for 35,000, if I'm correct. And uh, we started a place where you could say, this is pastor's office and all of that. It was huge at the time. It was huge for me. And um, because I didn't break out from any church, I didn't have anybody that supported me. We started this church on the street. I remember the first day I took my wife and we said, today we're starting our church. We're not waiting for God to bring billions. And from that minute, I began to improve and increase. I could tell you that our hall was the first to have a conditioning system where you would call a place of worship in Ilori. We are one of the first to be on Billboard. I was on all the TV channels available. We were the first church to use Quara Hotel. We were paying $1,000 per service. God helped me. Even though if you came to my house, my house was normal. I used a normal car. I was normal. I, I wasn't like this. But our church was way up there. I would have preachers come to Koza. That would come on stage and say well the church is moving your pastor ought to move also people said such things to me i can never forget pastor Wale, who was a treasurer at the time came to my house one day and he started weeping he said pastor look at your house look, look at her. pastor i'm the treasurer of the church you can afford this and i looked at him and i laughed i said don't worry the time is coming it's amazing when i read stuff about us and they paint us like we're extravagant people and that we, we're just a pop champagne pastor. It's amazing when I read it and it's fine, it's okay. Because that was a church where people's clothes tore during praise worship. My, yeah. My associates had holes under their shoes. I remember one program we had. In 1999, it was called Easter Jam. The clothes that we wear, I did not remember until the program started. We were that passionate. We were that passionate. I remember one of my friends, this same time, in 2001, he said to me, Pastor Biodo, he just sent a shoe to me on January 1st. To wear. I said, wow, <laughs> God will treat you better than you treat yourself. And he said to me, Pastor, I bought the shoe in November. As I wore it, I got to the gate. God said, go and pull it off. It's for Pastor Biodo. So I waited to come for Christmas and come and give you. That was the way the Lord sustained us. 
I got married when this church, the offering was 250 naira. So even if they packed everything and gave to me, I couldn't survive by that. We have people in this church who live in the house we lived, my wife and I. We lived in one room. Our kitchen was in the bathroom. Uh, please don't be distracted, but my wife is from a very, very wealthy family. Some of you know some of our elder brothers. They are our brother is the head, I think the ship, ship, uh, Shippers Association of Nigeria, she's the, he is the head of you know, that stuff. Our father used to be into shipping. He had sheep on the sea and all of that. Very popular family. But two of us broke away because of this vision. And we chose to go that route because of this vision. There's nobody who does that that God does not honor. God is not a cheat. He will hold nobody. I saw my life move from level to level. In those days when I just turned, when I just became a pastor, I dreaded to go to Lagos because all my contemporaries were in Lagos. That was when there was an explosion in bank, the banking industry. Everybody worked in the bank. And I can never forget seeing my dear friend who was the prince of the Newi, the son of the king of the Newi. I can never forget. I met him at Swiss Sensation. I said, look at you. He saw me say, Abby, what is wrong with you? Something is wrong with you. Ah, this born again thing, you are taking it serious. I said, well, how do you mean? He said, what do you do? I was with a plate. You know what they call plate? You design what you want to print in the computer. You go and burn the plate like a printer. And then you print it and all of that. So I was there with a plate. I went all the way from Illinois to go print in Lagos. So when I saw him, I didn't want to dodge him. Ah. He said, ah, what is wrong with you? He said, no, 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 no. This thing has turned into something else. He warned me seriously. He said, ah, take my card. He saw a lovely bank where he walked. And I was tempted to feel bad. I asked myself a few questions. Am I really correct? I drive, do you really know what you're doing? My friends will see me on Okada and laugh and sit down. My parents were bothered for me. My father's dream was to at least push me. I was his first son. My younger brother is a little bit different. He's more gentle. He's not someone that would, you know, do well in politics, even though he's interested. But he doesn't have, you know, the kind of, you know, yeah, that my, my kind of disposition. So my father was heartbroken that all his labor in that industry, he wouldn't have a son to push there. He wasn't against God. He wasn't against me being a pastor. By the way, he wanted me to live in Abuja. He wanted to push me to do federal stuff. But see what the Lord has done. But in the middle of that, I can never forget the day I went to buy a tree. <laughs> Hallelujah. I went to buy a tree. And I told the guy to help me turn it into furniture. Because it was cheaper. And I called my mom because despite the fact that my dad and I were not in good terms, he wasn't happy with me. I looked like a disgrace to him. But my mom was always, you know, paling us, giving me money secretly and, and warning me, are you sure you know what you're doing? Hallelujah. So, I called my mom and I said, come and see what the Lord has done. <laughs> so my mom entered our house and saw, you know those plants? We, we didn't have money to buy foam on it. And they would give my wife 2500 every Sunday. Just type it. And all church members would come to our house to still come and eat. Went through several levels. The first time I preached in another church in my life, the man of God had invited someone to come and preach, and the person disappointed overnight. So the man came in the middle of the night to come tell his son, command me to go preach because we had a few conversations and he just thought this guy would be able to preach it was a very big church in Illinois at the time it was a break for me so the man knocked on the door at about 10 but he didn't leave far came with his wife with a torchlight and when they knocked on the door we didn't have a room 
Water was coming out of our room. The light was not stable. Our TV did not work. So we would put the mattress on the floor. My wife and I would sleep. We were already preparing to sleep when he knocked on the door. We are carrying the bed. So I said, what happened? He said, nothing. <laughs> and I went there to preach. And that was my first opening. And the Lord began to increase me and increase me. I remembered asking God, Lord, would you give me a friend? Would you give me some? I want to meet these mentors you are showing me every day. And I will go to churches with seeds. And they will say, all right, you want to see our pastor? It's not available. We have a seed. They drop it there. You know? And I will, God will say, don't feel bad. So some of you don't know what happens to me when those people will see eventually walking into this place. It is not human worship. I'm seeing what God can do with a boy. Somewhere inside Tanke, Lori. What I saw that looked like it would never come to pass. Right as, right as I'm standing here, I'm seeing some of the members that were there from the beginning. Some of them are smiling at me because there were things I told them that did not look possible. Listen to me. There is nothing God has placed in your heart to do. If you believe God, it will come to pass. I have never heard Commonwealth of Zion anywhere in the world. This church is unique. We've got a very unique vision. However, Pastor and Lori, I met a lot of people that love God. Listen, I know there are other cities in the western part of Nigeria where you have a lot of pastors that are passionate. Elori is unique. It's a place where Bishop Oedipo was raised, Reverend Samadhi Yemi was raised, Bishop Kola Anolako was raised, Reverend Richard Yemi. A lot of geo get out in the spirit. Elori actually means a sharpener. People get sharpened there and they launch to the world. Most people you know that are not even from that place pass through that place. Pastor Adeboye passed through that place. Many people, Reverend George Adeboye, many, many people pass through that place. Bishop Oedeko, um, even Bishop Aleoke passed through that place. Ilori was a place where it was a hub for all of them. I, I met many people. I was a drummer. I was a drummer at the Church of Faith Liberation that turned to the Winners Chapel. I remember drumming as a teenager and I was a bishop very really. deep. God made me to encounter these people at a very young age. Most of these people, I'm calling their names. I mean, Reverend Sam Adeyemi and I were in the same fellowship. Reverend Victor Adeyemi and I were in the same fellowship. Korede, Korede Adams, a lot of them were there. We grew up like that. I would go to church as a teenager and walk home many times. And walk home many, many times. Just because the love of God was strong in my heart. And when I turned, when I became a pastor, one of these days I was just meditating and the devil was playing with my mind. And he said to me, God is just encouraging you for now. You will still suffer. Because I actually did not suffer. Because my parents were there. So I didn't really suffer. Everything I did was a choice. And I was happy because I was sowing a seed. So the devil told me, and in the middle of all this things I'm telling you, we, we, we looked like, you know, the, you know, the very, very good you know, people. Let me quickly tell you that Koza started by reaching out to cult boys, drug addicts, drop out out of school. Those guys who will pay for what was called IGMB. It was a level course that if you did it for nine months, they would connect you back to the other level. So we met people who, just because they did not do registration, they were chucked out of school. People that they gave fake admissions in those days. How many of you understood that? They discovered at 400 levels they couldn't go home. We would encourage them because we paid 35,000 naira was much. And we encouraged them. And they had good grades. After five years, those were the people the Lord used to change our lives. 
Suddenly, the crows that I used to be like that just became what people call a fizzy church. We did not budget for it. We did not, in my wildest dream, I did not believe that our church would start like that. It would be like this. <laughs> That guys, thanks for watching my YouTube channel. It's a girl Elama Times also known as Gelawa Pazet. Keep it locked. Wing.